G'day everyone, artist Wayne Dowson here with my speed painting of what I'm calling my ultimate Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now I've been inspired by all the wonderful paleo artwork I've been looking at on Facebook, including some awesome sculptures of dinosaurs, and I'm just loving it. I've also been truly inspired by a book I read recently and it was called The Tyrannosaur Chronicles by David Hone. It's a book that details the biology of the tyrant dinosaurs and I can highly recommend it for anybody that's interested in dinosaurs, especially the tyrannosaurs. The book tracks the amazing rise of these dinosaurs and presents the latest research into their biology showing off more than just their impressive statistics, Tyrannosaurs were cannibalistic and had feathers. Feathers, I hear you ask. Yes, that's right. Many of the dinosaurs, including some Tyrannosaurs, had feathers. Whether the larger Tyrannosaurus rex did, there is some conjecture about that. But perhaps in the near future, I may even take this painting and see how the T-Rex looks with feathers. And getting back to the book, the science behind the research tells the story of the Tyrannosaur group through their anatomy, ecology and behaviour, exploring how they came to be the dominant terrestrial predators of the Mesozoic and in more recent times, one of the great icons of biology. Now let's talk about the painting process. I'm using Photoshop, which as I've always said, is a brilliant digital painting program where it allows you to work in layers. And I also use a little Wacom tablet, which is perfect for creating artwork. And because Photoshop works with layers, it'll be quite easy for me to take this image when it's finished and create a transparent layer over the top and then just add the feathers and marry it all together. Now as you can see I'm just blocking the image in and then adding some light and dark details. After that I'll add some brighter highlight details. Now these will be all one tone and I'm not worried about that because once the image is completed that way it's really really easy to then add shadows. Now it's always fun doing the details of the face, but doing the body can sometimes get a little boring. But the beauty of digital painting is you can just save it and leave it for later. Also when painting something like this, I'm never sure of what kind of background to do. And with this particular image, I painted three different kinds of backgrounds before settling on something nice and simple. It's always good to paint something that has the star of the painting standing out. I want my T-Rex to really pop. Now to add the shadows and bring out the musculature of my Tyrannosaur. And I do this on a transparent layer over the top. That way if I don't like something or I go too far, it's so easy to rub it out without affecting the base image. And here's the fun part, adding minor details. I'm happy how everything is, the background suits the image. Now it's time just to tweak things and add the final highlights. Now I'm also adding a bit of colour here and there, which is on another transparent layer as well. This will allow me to make tonal adjustments without again affecting the main image. It's all experimentation and Photoshop gives me the freedom to make any changes easy.
And with some light mist in the foreground, it's time to add a little bit of lens flare and then just tweak the highlights and contrast for the finished product. That, my friends, is my digital painting, which I am calling my ultimate Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm artist Wayne Dowsant, and thanks for watching, everyone.